Hello, welcome to the Encouraging Word of today. Today is Wednesday, March the 16th. We're going to pick up here in the wonderful, encouraging Word of God. And as Jesus is now explaining to his disciples and all those around him that he was here in the flesh and that this was going to be, uh, that, 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 that the new has come and the old has passed and the salvation is complete and the Lord of glory was with them in their presence. They didn't need to fast and mourn at this moment, but celebrate and thank God for the newness of salvation that had come. And Jesus had been doing all these mighty and wonderful miracles of healing and, and preaching and casting out demons and devils. And he's going about that business on a continual basis. And in verse 18 of Matthew chapter 9, we find these words. And while he spake these things, behold, there came a certain ruler and worshipped him, saying, My daughter is even now dead, but come lay hands on her and she shall live. What an amazing display of faith here by this man who's come to find Jesus. Obviously, he had heard about his, his uh, ability and his power and, and, his, and his lordship because he came and worshipped him. Worship, that's a big deal. He came to worship him, not just to ask him for something, but he came and worshipped him and saying, my daughter is now even dead, but come and lay thy hands on her and she shall live. And Jesus arose and followed him and so did his disciples. So the moment this took place, he recognizes this man's faith and says, I'm going to go and, and move on the behalf of this man because of his faith. Verse 20, and as he did this, though, behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood for 12 years. So here you have one who has just perished. And you have one who's been dealing with this infirmity of blood for 12 years, a long time of sickness had she been dealing with this issue. And the point of this passage of scripture here is very clear as we go through it, is that that, that uh, Jesus moves on his time. And when the time is right, he'll bring healing. When the time is right. And he's promised us all that we are going to be healed. And matter of fact, we have already been raised from the dead. Because the Bible says that we're dead in our trespasses and sins. We're already dead, even though we're alive. But he says, do you not know that if any man believes in me, he shall never die? And that's the truth. So I don't have to worry about death because I'm not going to die. When I when when I uh, when this body comes to its end and they lay it in the grave, I'm not dead. I'm with the Lord. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. I don't have to worry about dying. So Christ has already raised me from the dead, and Christ has already healed my infirmities. He already healed my diseases. I may have to deal with them in the moment because I don't have Christ walking on the earth right now. But He's already promised me that I am perfectly uh, made whole. And, uh, and in him, not, not now in this moment, but in him, I have been made whole. But notice what happens that in the middle of this. Here comes this woman uh, that's going to interrupt um, Jesus from going and raising this person from the dead. Now, if this is my daughter and he's following me and he's going to stop and take care of this situation, she's alive. You, you can come back here. Come to my daughter right, right now. Well, um, he had faith to believe and trust that Christ would be on time and I pray we have faith and believe that Christ will be on time as well. We don't have to rush Jesus. Jesus knows exactly when to do and, and, and how to do it. But then notice what it says. For uh, She had a, an issue of blood for 12 years and came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. For she said with inside of herself, If I may but touch his garment, I shall be made whole. What faith? What faith? But Jesus turned about him. And when he saw her, he said, Daughter, what a tremendous term of endearment um, that he gave her to her. He called her daughter. And he says, be of good comfort. Thy faith have made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. And so we have to be careful here. Because um, this issue of healing and miracles and things like that, it's just like, well, well, it was only her faith that made her whole. So why why is it my faith making me whole? Why is it my faith healed my disease? Why has the faith done that? Well, listen, Christ has promised he's going to heal you one way or another. Okay? But he does it in his time. And sometimes... You have to suffer for a long time. You have to suffer for, this woman suffered for 12 years with this issue of disease of blood. And she was made whole in that minute. And he did say it was her faith that made her whole. But don't you know that your faith's going to make you whole one day too? Don't you know that your faith has already raised you from the dead? Please remember these things. And so here's what he says. And he says, and, and, and she was made whole in that hour. And when Jesus came into the ruler's house, he saw the minstrels and the people making noise. So they were in there uh, having a morning session over this young girl. So now the woman's been made whole. He's left off from there. Now he's back on his course. He's back uh, to go to this uh, ruler's house. And he gets in there and they're they're all mourning and making a noise. And he said unto them, give place. He said, get get out. I need you to, I need you to move. I need you to get out. And um, he says, for the maid is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn. 
Uh, see, so you have one who truly believes and you've got others who laugh at Christ in his words. But then notice what it says, but verse 25. But when the people were put forth, he went in and took her by the hand and the maiden arose. Christ has the ability to walk into our lives at any moment and speak to anything that's happening in our lives and make us whole, to raise us from the dead. He can do that. And, and, he, and, the, and the promise of the Bible is, is in salvation, he does do that. In salvation, he does do that. He does make us whole. He's going to heal us. He has raised us from the dead. So everything that has been promised and everything that we see here, Christ does do, even now, even now, maybe not in the same way, maybe not people walking into your room and grabbing your loved one by the hand and raising them from the dead, but Christ does raise us from the dead. And maybe he doesn't heal like he healed here, but he does heal many different forms in many different ways. Christ still heals. And he's still raising people from the dead. And the question is, have you been touched by the master? Have you reached out and touched the master? Do you have faith to believe in the, in the promised word of God that you have been raised from the dead and that you have been made whole? And as the Bible says, there's coming a day where every tear shall be wiped away from our eyes and there shall be neither no more pain, no more suffering, no more death. Uh, for the former things will be passed away and behold, all things will be made new. And Jesus said these words. He says, listen, do you not know that I am the resurrection, the resurrection and the life? And he who believes in me, if he die, he shall yet live. For if any man believes in me, he shall never die. Believe you me this? Do we believe Christ in this way? Do we have the faith to believe that we've already been raised from the dead, that we don't have to worry about death, that we've already been made whole? So I say, I got faith to believe that God can fix and heal anything in my body if he wants to do so. But I also know that there are times in Scripture where it doesn't happen. Even some of the most beloved disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ weren't healed. Paul didn't get his thorn in the flesh healed. If anybody had the faith to be healed, don't you know it would have been the Apostle Paul? And so if you're suffering, you're going through some things right now, don't count it a lack of your faith that you can't be healed in this moment, but know that Christ has promised that you are going to be healed because of your faith. Not that he can't raise your loved ones from the dead, but his desire is to raise them from the dead, but not, not after they die, but before they die, so they don't have to worry about death. They have him already. And so I pray today that as you look unto your Savior, that this would go out as well about our faith and because of what Christ has done. In verse 26, and the fame hereof went abroad into all that land. So the fame of Christ went through all the land. That's what we need to make happen today, to make the fame of Christ go out through all the land that he has healed and that he does raise from the dead. And so I pray today you go forth mildly in the name of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I pray that you are encouraged in your Savior.